Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is an action and fantasy of 2002, The Scorpion King. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. Before the time of the pyramids, a horde from the east invades the ancient world, led by the ruthless Memnon, who by their law, is king for being their greatest warrior. His many victories come from the help of a sorcerer who predicts the outcomes of battles, leaving only a few free tribes to oppose him. Matthias, his half-brother Jessup, and friend Rama, the only three true remaining Akkadians, are hired by King Farron of the last free tribes to kill Memnon's sorcerer for 20 blood rubies, upsetting Farron's son Tikman, as it is the last of their treasury, and Nubian King Balthazar, who dislikes the Akkadians. The Akkadians manage to sneak into Memnon's camp, but are ambushed by Memnon's guards, having been tipped off by Tikman who killed his own father and defected to Memnon's side. Jessup and Rama are hit by arrows, but Matthias manages to sneak into the sorcerer's tent, where he sees that the sorcerer is actually a sorceress named Cassandra. Matthias is then captured and meets Memnon himself, who brutally executes Jessup in front of him, and is about to kill Matthias too. Cassandra, however, tells Memnon that the gods wish Matthias to survive the night, and to defy them would incur their wrath and cost him his victories. Memnon has Matthias buried to his neck in the desert to be devoured by fire ants at dawn. Matthias wakes up to a precarious circumstance, buried from the neck down in the middle of a desert. Arpid, who's also buried, informs them that they're surrounded by an ant's nest and soon they'll be all over in the thousands. Arpid doesn't seem too concerned, though he easily escapes. When Matthias turns away, Arpid then overpowers the two guards left to watch them and sits back, happy to watch Matthias eaten alive by rabid ants. Matthias is begging to be freed, but Arpid refuses unless Matthias promises to not kill him and to also take him along on his adventures. With the ants closing in fast, some even climb up the side of his face. He's got no choice but to agree. Deciding to finish his mission and avenge his brother, Matthias sneaks into Memnon's stronghold, Gamora, and manages to enter Memnon's palace with the help of a street urchin. He briefly meets Memnon's court magician, Philos, who hides him and then directs him to the courtyard where Memnon is training. Matthias tries to shoot Memnon from the watchtower but is forced to save the street urchin from having his hand amputated for his theft by shooting the axe out of Tikmet's hand, alerting the guards to his presence. Matthias only barely manages to escape from Gamora, abducting Cassandra along the way, knowing that Memnon will come for her. Cassandra tries to escape from Matthias and even tells him that she has been Memnon's prisoner since she was a child. Sympathetic, Matthias allows her the choice of leaving, but warns her of worse dangers and that she is likely safer with him. However, Memnon sends his right-hand man Thorek and a group of guards to kill Matthias and retrieve Cassandra, but Matthias manages to slay them all under the cover of a sandstorm, while dueling and fatally stabbing Thorak in the abdomen. With his dying breaths, Thorak manages to stab Matthias in the leg with a scorpion blood-laced arrow. Cassandra, however, uses her magic to save Matthias's life. As an insult and a warning, Matthias sends Thorak's bloodstained pendant to Memnon. Matthias, Arpid, and Cassandra then run into Philos, who earlier fled Memnon's palace and had perfected the explosive powder he was working on. However, they are ambushed by the rebels, now under the rule of Balthazar. Though Matthias defeats Balthazar in a fight and earns his grudging respect and sanctuary, Cassandra has a vision of Memnon and his army slaughtering the entire rebel camp. She informs Matthias and then prophesies that when the moonlight reaches Memnon's palace, the king on high will become the invincible Scorpion King, and Memnon believes himself to be the one destined to become the Scorpion King. Furthermore, she informs Matthias that if he faces Memnon, he will most likely die. She tells Matthias that she foresees him being shot, but Matthias assures her that he will make his own destiny and they make love. The next morning, however, Cassandra returns to Memnon in order to stall him and possibly kill him. Matthias, with help from Balthazar, Arpid, Philos, and the army of rebels, launches an all-out assault on Memnon's stronghold, facing Memnon personally before he can kill Cassandra, while Balthazar confronts and kills Tikmet, avenging Tikmet's father, Perone, and takes on the full force of Memnon's forces alone. The battle rages on until Matthias is shot by a guard, as in Cassandra's vision. As Memnon takes his place in the house of Scorpio to become the Scorpion King, Cassandra kills the guard while Matthias retrieves his bow, pulls the arrow out of his shoulder and uses it to shoot the exhausted Memnon, sending him off the edge of the roof just as Philos and Arpid use the explosive powder to destroy the palace's foundation stone, bringing down the bulk of Memnon's forces. Memnon is consumed by the flames as he falls to his death. With the battle over, the remnants of Memnon's army bow before Matthias, who, per the laws of the Horde stating that the king is the best warrior, is now the Scorpion King. In the aftermath, 
Matthias and Balthazar share a good-natured farewell as the latter returns to his own kingdom. Cassandra tells Matthias that she sees a brief period of peace and prosperity coming but warns him that it will not last forever. Undeterred, Matthias decides that they will make their own destiny. Thank you for watching, but before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.